So tonight it's my um, pleasure to uh, have you here to talk about our newest project and I'd like to give you a little bit of background about it before I introduce our artist John Jewell. So basically the current apple orchard has been a major gathering place in University Place ever since it began. It's been around since the early 1950s. The Currens bought the orchard. Mr. Curran used dynamite to blow out tree stumps, pulled out the blackberry bushes, and planted over 250 apple trees. So people at that time, they gravitated toward the orchard to pick apples, meet the horses, see the beautiful blossoms on the trees, which in another week or so, head on over there, because it's going to be spectacular. So anyway, um, he, Mr. Curran had a friend named Frank Brewster, and Frank gave Mr. Curran a gift mare called Back Interest, and she happened to be the granddaughter of Man of War, who is arguably the greatest racehorse that ever lived. So Mr. Curran decided he wanted to have racehorse. So he bred back interest to a $400,000 Irish thoroughbred, which resulted in a colt named Brewster. So Brewster was all set to race in his first race at the Yakima racetrack, and he came down with a horrible virus. And they thought he was going to die, but Mr. Curran, and the races are off. <laughs> <laughs> It's the Lord Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, so Mr. Curran brought Brewster back home and ended up living to be 34 years old. So, okay, so um, so fast forward a little bit. Um, in the early um, 1990s, our community started to grow, and developers started approaching the Currens and they wanted to buy the land and take out all the trees and put up a housing development there. And so the UP Community Council and the community rallied together, and in 1993, we obtained a grant from Pierce County Conservation Futures to save the land and the house forever as a park for the community. So this year is the 25th anniversary of the current orchard becoming a community park. So in honor of that, the core group, which is in charge of the volunteer activities at the Orchard, they sent out um, messages to various groups, including Up for Arts, asking them if they would like to help celebrate this anniversary. And so Up for Art decided that we would like to do a major artwork to celebrate the legacy of the Currens and to celebrate the Orchard, which continues to be a gathering place. And so it is my pleasure to introduce tonight um, John Jewell, who was actually the very first artist that we ever worked with. He did the sharing statue for us in Sir Bridgeport Park. He is a delightful person to work with, and we are thrilled to have him again. So, John. Thank you. You know, it is an honor for me to be with people like you that are interested in the community and want to be the family. Anyway, this poem is called After Apple Picking by Robert Frost. Mm -hmm. My long two-pointed ladder sticking through a tree toward heaven still, and there's a barrel that I didn't fill right there beside it. And there may be two or three apples I didn't pick upon some bowl, but I am done with apple picking now. And I, I don't know, there's just something really special about it. This one right here is Brewster, and it's a great picture of him because we can see the markings, and I can also see how far away way the eyes are, the wider eyes in, this, in, the, in the more narrow uh, skull right in here. I can see the movements back in here, uh, what's happening with the spine, and then some of the muscles and so forth. And so this is a good, <clears throat> a good picture for me. Uh, Charles Curran, Chuck Curran, uh, sent us a lot of uh, good information. First thing we had to do is get the concept down. So we talked and talked and talked a lot about that, and I did some drawings, and uh, this was one of the drawings that I did. 
young, young little girl. She's almost going to touch the horse. Now, design work. Tail goes this way. Mane on the other side goes that way. Her hair goes this way, and there's kind of a little bit of a dance going on there. The other side, same thing is happening here. Mane is blowing this way. This is coming here. She is she going to touch the horse or not? Or is she commanding the horse to do something, to hold, to stop? What is she what is she doing? That's kind of there is Annie practicing at home. She's holding the apple. She's trying to visualize what she, how she's going to, how she's going to be. Here she is with a horse, and she's kind of petting the horse and trying to figure out should we have her petting the horse? Nah, maybe not. You know. And also, I've got some expressions of Annie that I can use. You know, and they're, they're great expressions. One of the things that I've learned during this time is when you're petting a horse, it's best to pet the horse by the side. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that. It's because of their eyes. They like to be able to see you, so they kind of turn their head. They turn their head a little bit. So we'll have Annie in that position, so it's the right position. And the horse doesn't, you know, jolt as much, doesn't get upset uh, because the horse can see you. Here's the animal the horse again. Now this is a nice pose, and I kind of like this. Uh, this is curiosity. A horse does this, and, and, and what happens, you can't see it in the nose, but the nose flattens out. And the ears kind of go back a little bit and turn. Those ears are really, I'm having a hard time being ears, telling them the truth. But those ears can turn like, you know, in all these different directions. And sometimes you'll see a horse with one ear this way and the other ear that way. I have here. And uh, I did bring along, just as you're going out the door, but this is in progress. You've got to remember that this thing is in progress. I did bring along where I am right now. It still has the pins in it. I was working on it today. Oh God, I gotta get that thing done, I gotta get it done. I just couldn't do it. Uh, but you can come up and take a peek at Captain Maquette, and you can see the horse, and you can see the mane, and uh, basically where we're going at this particular point. I'm making a younger rooster, and I've still got that sway in the back. Uh, working on the eyes right now, trying to capture that. Uh, that uh. Anyway, you're welcome to come up and do what I'm doing. <laughs>